I did I think it's working. How's it going guys? We got a new stream set up today. Trying out trying out the kitchen stream. We got another camera here for when I'm working on stuff here. Um I'm trying to get my phone to work. I something I totally forgot to do. Let me see if I can get this thing working. It's not even listed. Alright, uh <laughs> gotta Google this on the spot. My my mic's a bit low. Let me see. Let me see if I can turn it turn it back up. Um Yeah, this mic kinda sucks. Kind of a cheapo one because um I wasn't sure if <laughs> I wasn't sure how often I was gonna do this. Let me add some gain to it. This thing is turned all the way up. I'll add like five gain. How's that? Does that sound any better? I'm actually getting into the yellow now, it looks like, on my mixer. I could try 10. Let me see. Let me Google. OBS Studio use iPhone as camera. Now how the heck do I do that? Do I actually have to plug it in? If I could have it wireless, that'd be awesome. Oh, there's a plug-in I have to download? No! Well, that's a shame. I could use this one for when I go outside. How does this work? Oh, I have it upside down. <laughs> I guess I could use this for when I go outside. Okay. Well, I'm going to grill. I'm not, I'm not going to go out there for, for a minute anyways. For a bit. It didn't seem like a big difference. All right, let me try. I'll add a little more gain here. How about... Where's my microphone? There it is. It is indeed using the correct audio input. Try 10. Up the game to 10. And then is it blasting your ears now? <laughs> Making any difference? Um I'm going to get the get French fry cutter out. Yeah, it's better. It's not close to blowing up the ears. Okay, that's good. All right, guys. So today we are going to be making a steak, some Brussels sprouts, and then my wife wants a baked potato, so I'm making her a baked potato. But I want fries, so making fries also. So we're making two potato dishes today. Um, I'm trying to think of how to time all of this. I usually I just got a brand new grill. I usually cook on the cast iron skillet, and I usually only buy. I usually only get um, prime cuts, like really thick prime ribeyes. But since I'm afraid of screwing this up, I just bought a cheaper choice. I, I the fattiest choice steak. Let me see if I could show it to you guys. I guess I should bring it out, get it to room temperature. So let me see. Might be easier for me to use the other one. Let this thing push this out of the way. I thought it would look cooler upside down, but it just looks like it's upside down. No, the other camera's better, wasn't it? Let's see. I'm afraid of it falling. It's kind of... Flexing a stick. <laughs> How's it going, Hearts Anime? <laughs> so pretty much... So for today... We're using just a thin steak from Safeway, because... um. Uh, yeah, I have no idea if I'm going to screw it up or not. Oh, my new grill. Haven't used it much for steak. We're going to try that. That is probably only going to take like 10 minutes to cook, so I'll probably cook this last. So I'm just going to set this aside. Um, see if I want baked potato will take about an hour, so at about 4 o'clock I will start the baked potato. I can probably preheat the oven now. Get it to freaking 450. Get that fully maxed out. I assume 450 is probably good. Or is that too hot? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> now that I've added it, be confident. We'll see. I did watch some YouTube tutorials, so we'll see. See if I can do it. Let's see if I can do an all right job on it. Um, Brussels sprouts will take about 20 minutes. 
thought about and that I, that I don't mind reheating the baked potato I kind of want that to finish right before it's time to eat and the steak yeah that'll be right before it's time to eat fries we're gonna cook twice so we're gonna start on french fries so let me start you guys here show you the pinnacle of technology here we got an electric french fry cutter I eat french fries so often that I bought an electric french fry cutter oh. there it is and then got two different blades we got power box out of the way Let me angle this differently I back us up angle it like this maybe you can see but as you can see here it's electric right, let me plug this thing in Dem do a demonstration for you guys I'm gonna do all this work just to cut up one potato to make fries because I don't want to cut it up it probably I'd probably already be done if I just started cutting it with a knife but I want it perfectly uniform all right check this out guys <laughs> it didn't turn on for a second I was like oh god it doesn't work isn't that amazing you just press a couple buttons and it moves for you. So actually, what I'm going to do here is, I have two different blade sizes. Right now I'm using, upside down. I'm using this one right now, um, the 3 8 cut one. But I, since I'm eating steak, I kind of want to have some thicker fries. So I'm going to put the thicker attachment on. Take this guy off fancy. Yeah, I'll take that off. It's not too hard to change these things out. I'm going to... Unscrew this. Take this off. Oh crap. Popped off. I don't want to lose these washers. I already lost one. One of them flew. Oh no, never mind. I found it. <laughs> I'm going to say one of them flew off. We're good. We're good. All right. Um. Okay. Uh, get off the fourth one. I should have done this before, funny enough. I knew I was going to be making fries today. All right, so we're going to take off, take off a smaller blade. Set these aside. And in this box, I got the uh, thicker one. I'm going to make some thicker fries. Oh, there we go. Fancy. Let me get this thing on. All right, lock this in. Get the French fry blade thing on. And I'm going to clean a potato. I think I'm going to leave the skin on today. Ugh. But basically, what we're going to be doing is um, cutting the fries, rinsing out the starch, then we're going to boil them in some salt water, then we're going to fry them. And then right before we eat, I'm going to reheat them, throw them back in the oil, and... Get it back up to temperature. Okay, let's see. Throw this. Yeah, I really should have done this before, but it's all right. Am I hitting the mic at all? I just realize I'm looking down. Hopefully, I'm not making lots of scrapey noises in your guys' ears. Sorry, headphone users. Ugh. Oh crap! Oh, I thought I lost a piece. I dropped it. Okay, one more thing, then I can actually use this. I dropped it again. Um, this is so exciting. Come on. Really? This has never given me issues, but today when I'm streaming, it's given me issues. Okay, there we go. User error. I was probably putting it on crooked. This camera is probably not helping you guys at all. I don't think this angle really helps, but... Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go get a potato. Some back here. I'll pick one out for my wife's baked potato and one for my fries. Yeah, it's just huge ones. That's what she said. Um, off camera, awkwardly shuffling. Oh, this is gonna be... Yeah, it's gonna be way too much, but I don't care. You good? 
<laughs> Can you make wrestles? You need a head cam? I kind of do. All right. We got some potatoes here. Things are humongous. Look how huge this, this guy is. Um, I'm going to wash this. I got a potato brush somewhere. Yeah, head cam would be really useful. All me around. I'm just going to rinse this guy off. Got a potato brush. Yeah, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> You know what? This potato looks kind of sad. I don't think I'm going to use this one for my wife. I'm going to get another one. But for my fries, this one should be good. Humongous thing. I think it's going to be too huge to fit into the cutter, actually. Alright, all brushed up. Let's see. Can't, you can't really see super well, can you? Um, GG, it's too big. I gotta cut the potato. Alright, we're gonna get a cutting board out. Oh, it's in the dishwasher. Yeah, let's get the smallest. You know what? I'm gonna get a bigger one out. I think what's in here. I'm doxing myself. Oh! Get a knife. I still had to pull out a knife anyways. Alright. So I actually don't like this being rotated. I thought this would actually look better since I have it upside down, but it looks kind of stupid. Um, let me fix this. Reset this transform. Oh, whoops. Transform, reset transform. There we go. What? Yeah, that looks a bit better. And... Move this a little closer here. Can I zoom in a bit? How about... If I crop this a little bit, we'll make... And then we'll stretch it out a little bit. Desperately trying to hide... A mess behind this. There we go. Potato. One slice. Get some fries. Did I go the other way? Probably doesn't matter. You're really not supposed to put your hand in there. So I'm gonna... <laughs> if you guys see the fries come out. Oh, isn't that so satisfying? Look at that. Alright, one more. And there we go. We're done with this thing. Alright, now, get a pot. I was going to use that little one I have over there on the stove, but I feel like that's too small. I'm going to get this huge Dutch oven. And then I'm going to break one of the major rules of cast iron, and I'm going to boil water in it. There we go. Here's our fries. Rinse this off. I know I want to add a little salt to this, but I'm tempted to add a little sugar as well to change the flavor, but I'm not sure. I already know it's going to be good, even if I don't add it. Do I experiment? Hmm. Right, let's add a little bit of salt. Oh, I already have salt here. Dude, I messed up my ca You messed up your cast iron. What happened? I'm obsessed with restoring my cast iron. Yeah, let's add some salt into here. I feeling daring? Do I add a little sugar too? No, 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 no. I'll just leave it as is. Alright, get some water to this. Add some hot water. We're gonna get this thing boiling. And basically we just want to get this to the point where it's when I poke it with a fork, it's fork tender, and then I'm gonna drain it. 
A lot of times with fries, you double fry them, but with this, this kind of eliminates the, the need for a first fry. Okay. Oh god. Oh, it's because I turned the oven on. I was like, why is it so hot? Okay. Cast iron. Alright, cool. I think next I will cut some Brussels sprouts. I left some residual oil on it so it was really sticky. I tried to scrub it off with water and channel, but I ended up taking off the seasoning. Oh, like, oh. Well, I mean, if it's uneven, that's fine. You can always fix it. But I mean, was it, by taking off the seasoning, was it like, was it rusted underneath? If there's no rust, you're probably fine. You probably just put it in the oven. If it's sticky, what I like to do is I'll put it in the oven at like 350 for five minutes to loosen it up. Then when I take, then I can pull it out of the uh, oven, the oven mitts, and then soapy water in a chain mail. Scrub it off and rinse it, and then the stickiness goes away. Oh, is your really shiny one? Well, at least there's no rust. Yeah, you're probably going to be good. If you want to even it out, you can always use sandpaper. Okay, we're going to get out some Brussels sprouts. I can't remember where I put them. Um. Oh, there we go. Got a bag of Brussels sprouts. So it's pale compared to the original. Oh, pale's okay. Feels okay as long as it's not immediately rusting. Because when I I completely stripped the seasoning off uh, one of my cast iron or a few of my cast iron a while back, and after I took it all off, it immediately just started rusting. And I had to start, it was like silver, and it was uh <laughs> yeah immediately I had to start applying oil and rubbing it on, or else it would have just completely rusted out. So if it's not rusting, you're probably good. You won't be staying too long when I was here. Hey, thanks for stopping by. First cooking stream in my new house. Is it really new? I've been here for like a year. That first time cook doing a cook... I, this is only my second time ever doing a cooking stream. Alright, so we're going to rinse these guys out. Then we're going to cut them up. And then mix them in a bowl with some olive oil, salt, pepper. Oof. Alright. It's already pretty clean. It wasn't taking too much effort. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna cut off the stem, and then cut them in half or fourths. Hey, fourths. What the heck. Cut them into fourths. Cut them aside there. Oh Jesus! <laughs> totally know what I'm doing. All right, BJ, what's up, man? Andrew the chef. Well, I'm trying. Home cook. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay wouldn't approve, but you know, my food's edible at least. I guess the bare. I meet the bare minimum of my food being edible. It's not poison, so it's good enough. How are you doing, BJ? Got some bros. Oh yeah, new house. All right. There's gonna be so much dead time, guys. It's just like a lot of waiting. As soon as I, I guess I'll bake this first and then uh, keep an eye on it. Let's see. Ugh. Do I even need to get a bowl dirty? Maybe I just cook these. I'll just mix this around in the. I'm gonna cook this in a cast iron skillet in the oven. Maybe I just mix this around in the cast iron, and then I don't have to wash another dish. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, where's my cast iron skillet? Things back here. Sorry, I like I, I keep walking off freaking camera half the time here. I baby this thing so much. Can you see it? See the shine? Ooh. Is it me or you look kind of short wearing all black? Oh, the thing is, I am actually really short. And uh, usually when I'm sitting in front of the camera, it's not as obvious, like at the desk. So here you can see my true height a little better. All black probably doesn't help, though. <laughs> the secret's out. All right, we're gonna get, I'm going to get these guys into the cast iron skillet. Uh, clear this out of the way here. Oh, man, this is so much. 
This didn't seem like that much when I was buying this at the store. Dang, Andrew. Yeah, dude, height check guess. How, how tall do you guys think I am? So many people have been disappointed when they met me. It's so funny. Um, well, I don't know if they're disappointed. Well, maybe, or maybe just more like shocked. <laughs> when I was a cosplayer at conventions, people, you know, on Instagram would say, hey, I want to meet with this convention. I'd say, sure, let's meet up. And they see me and they look down at me like, huh. Shorter than I expected. Six, nine, yes. Cooking for the wife? I sure am, BJ. She's good at cooking too, but I like to cook more. And I like to cook fancy stuff. She and I have different specialties. She cooks Asian food better than I do, but when it comes to American food, I think I, think I have the edge on her here. All right, last one. I'm gonna throw these out. Then we're gonna mix, put some salt, pepper, and olive oil, and mix that around. Wait, I don't remember you being short. <laughs> well, um, cosplay shoes add a bit of height. So, I mean, to be fair, this angle probably isn't like the most flattering. If I stand here, hey, look at this. Suddenly, I don't look that short. I just gotta stand right here the whole time. <laughs> How long has it been since we met, BJ? What was the last convention I, that we saw each other at? It's been a long, long time. Yeah, I need to get a new potato for my wife, because the one I picked out is all hideous. She will, hit, she will get very sad if I give her that potato. Okay, this one looks healthier. Ugh. Yeah, stay right there. <laughs> I've already moved, it's too late. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna brush this guy. Okay. This potato looks a little better. This is the one I'm getting for her. This is the one I got first for her, and this looks a little jacked up, doesn't it? I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't eat this. I mean, if I use this for my fries, I could at least cut off the parts that don't look good. But I'm making her, I'm making her a baked potato, so... The whole thing needs to kind of look good. And this this one's a pretty solid potato. Bro, I haven't seen you until AX 2015. Did we meet? I'm trying to remember. Was it at the Aniplex booth? This camera is so good, isn't it? Wait, come on, focus. There it is. Beautiful potato. Oh, oh no, there's one imperfection right there. Right there. That's all right. I think this will do. I think this will pass. Okay, so I'll just set that aside. We are going to season this. I'm gonna get a glove because I hate getting oil all over my hands. Yeah, what? When? What? Where did we meet up again? I just can't remember anymore. Oh, you guys can probably hear my security system. The security system is pretty intense. Okay, let me see. I'll get some olive oil out. There we go. Humongous Costco olive oil. You know, I didn't know the difference between olive oils when I used, when I first started cooking. Like, you know, there's extra there's extra virgin olive, extra virgin olive oil and there's extra light olive oil. The extra version is more flavorful, but it has a low smoke point. So I would use that to cook, and I'd smoke the whole house up. So I guess you're only supposed to use that for salad dressings and toppings and things. Meanwhile, extra light olive oil is the one that you can use for high temperatures and deep frying and stuff. So this one is a blend. It has a little, it's only like 15% extra version, so there's a little bit of flavor. So I think extra light olive oil basically just tastes like vegetable oil or canola oil. But this one will actually taste a little better. Nice. All right, um, all right, so first we're gonna add some salt. Oh, yeah, kosher salt. Nice, thick, easy to see. I like kosher salt. It's harder to mess it up. With fine, with like fine sea salt or regular iodized salt, it just, I always over salt stuff. All right, and then get some black pepper. Come on. Oh, God. 
For the steak, I'll use fresh ground pepper, but this is just so much vegetables that there's it would take me like a year to fresh grind by fresh grind that onto here. Now let's get some olive oil in here. Yep. I know it's a vegetable, but this is not gonna be healthy. Okay, that's probably more than enough. <laughs> let's uh okay, I'm gonna get this beautiful clean glove right here. I had like the <laughs> I had the urge to give the middle finger, but decided not to. And I just had this, uh, I don't, do, you, do you guys get that when you're, like, at the edge of a cliff? You're just like, I could just jump off right now. You get this, like, weird urge, and then, it, like, it freaks me out. Or, like, when you're, like, when you're driving on, maybe, maybe, I mean, we're not standing on cliffs off. But when you're driving on a hill or something, you're like, I could just drive off right now. Oh, God, I breathed in the black pepper. Feel sneeze. And it's gone. That's the worst. It would be it would be it would be fun more to watch cooking streams like this from now. Yeah, actually, I've been think I'm trying it out. Um, and if this goes well, I'll do more of these. Cause, I mean, I like to cook. I like to stream. Why not stream myself cooking? I just get a little bored. I mean, honestly, like the streamers I watch, I'm kind of bored with watching gameplay streamers. And then I go live playing games. I'm like, well, I don't even watch gaming streamers. So why don't I do more things like this? I've been wanting to be a just chatting streamer for for years. I just didn't think I could do it. But I was like, you know what? Try cooking. Something different. All right. Um, and that's that's it. Um, I have to wait like 20 minutes. I have to bake it for 20 minutes or so. Keep an eye on it. Oh, oh, this is this is boiling. I wish I had a camera over here. Let me see. Uh, I need to get a fork. Oops. I need to get a fork so I can poke. A potato and see if it's soft. As soon as I can, as soon as it's fork tender, then I can pour it out. I need to get a colander ready as well. I'm running out of space here. Um, did I use the colander earlier? Oh, <laughs> right here. Stupid. Or more haircut streams too? Yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> you know what's funny about the haircut stream, guys? So in COVID. Obvious during the, the lockdowns and COVID, obviously I wasn't able to go to my I had before I moved, I had been going to the same person to cut my hair for years. And obviously during COVID I couldn't go see her. And she just had a kid, so all the more reason she was just tied up. So was, my wife cut my hair on stream and uh, I think she did a pretty good job for just someone that just watched YouTube videos. But when I finally was able to get my very first haircut in a long time the lady was asking me, why is your hair cut over here? Like, who did this? I'm like, oh, well, my wife did it because we're locked inside. And I didn't have a professional to cut it. She said, oh, okay, I get it. Like, it's, I guess she was ready to crap on whoever cut my hair last. Okay, let's see. Fork tender? Almost. Actually, this is just... Oh, God, it's hot. Just right, okay. I'll pour this guy out. Once again, something I can't show you guys since it's I don't have a camera here. Pour this out. Oh Jesus, that's hot. Hot steam. Alright. <laughs> Totally know what I'm doing. Cast iron lid is a little dry or a little wet, so I'm trying to dry it out here. Okay. I still remember. I still do. That was a fun stream. I've actually been meaning to edit that down because I mean, no one wants to watch a VOD of a haircut stream. I've actually, even though it's kind of older and the quality on the video is not super great, I kind of want to edit that down into a, a YouTube video for my vlog channel. I keep talking about my IRL vlog channel, and I'm still editing my first vlog. My first vlog, I'm actually um, almost, I'm almost done with the first stage. Um, so I'm working on a vlog from when I went on my honeymoon in Hawaii in 2020. Wow. It's been two years. It's been so, time flies. So um, I reviewed all the footage last week, and I started writing it. I'm just going to do a voiceover over it for most of it, just telling you guys what I did. And yeah, just working on the script for it right now. Andrew, is that your new place? It sure is. This, and I'm also working on a house tour. 
video. I, I don't want to. Sh I, I already have footage of the house. I just need to make the video. You guys, I have like five videos that I was working on, like, um, that I, I want to make. That let me see. I have like my honeymoon in Hawaii. And I have a vlog. I have my old apartment tour plus new house tour. Well, I guess that would be one. Like, that would be different ones. Like, yeah, one would be the old, old apartment tour. Next would be like the new house tour. When we bought the house, it was pretty hideous on the inside. Um, so I'd kind of want to. I kind of want to show it before and after. What else do I have? Also, just the pro. I have a story, like a story, like buying the house because the sellers for this house really suck. A celebrate with tacos? Yeah, tacos. That'd be great. Okay. Um, cast iron's dried out. I have. I made fried chicken with this oil twice. I strained it out. I'm gonna reuse this. But I'm gonna need a little more oil, so but I'm gonna start with this. Yeah, that's definitely not enough oil. Okay. And then let's get some more oil out. We need some good old fashioned canola oil for the fries. Get a crap ton of it. All of this for just one potato. Okay, not gonna need any more than that. Put this away. And then, because I like to be all scientific, we got a candy thermometer, which I've put in the dishwasher one too many times, so you can't, oh, wait, there's a glare. You can't see the numbers on it, but let me see. Let's go here. Right at about this line or so, for my index fingers, is 375. So even though the numbers aren't there, I've deep fried fries so much that I know I just wait for it to hit around that area. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna let that go. And this is preheated. All right, Brussels sprouts are going in the oven. So we're gonna put that in. Um, I don't know how long it'll take. We'll check on it in 15 minutes, see how it looks. Go from there. All right, it's in. And I'll set a timer. 20. That's seriously all I have to do right now? Oh, wait, wait, the fries are drained. All right, I can show you guys the fries now. All right, so I cut these fries, boiled them. Uh, you see, they're nice and steamy. And then I'm just gonna fry them up, and they're gonna be super delicious. Looks like I know what to get you for your birthday. You do? I was gonna say, what is it? But then that would kind of ruin the surprise, wouldn't it? What, what are you getting me? Getting me a, uh, getting me a, I have to guess. I have to guess expensive, so you can get me an expensive gift. If I guess something really expensive, then you'll feel bad if you get me something cheaper, right? So I have to guess, like, a, as expensive as possible. <laughs> BRB bro, no worries, man. No worries. Man. Oh. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> that would actually be good. I can appear taller, I'll be like, hey guys, had my growth spurt finally. <laughs> you know, when I was showing my wife um, was like old pictures and stuff, and I said, oh, this is me after the growth spurt. She's like, but you're still short. I'm like, yeah, you should have seen me before the growth spurt. <laughs> um, what was I going to get? Oh, okay, I'm going to need this guy for the fries. And then, what else? What else do I need? For the what else am I doing? What am I doing with my life? I'm going to get a bowl with a strainer. All right. After we cook the fries, we're going into here. Strain them out. Temperature's still at like 150. It's oh, may if I turn the heat up, actually heat up at a reasonable time. Oh man. Where's my water? Is this awkward just having no background music? Usually I stream with background music, but I intended to make a YouTube video out of this. And if I have background, but I was like, if I already have background music in it, and I'm editing stuff out, then this, it's going to jump between the song, and it'll sound all awkward. So I was like, I'll just... No background music, have it awkwardly silent.
chill. Cool. You know, I always wondered about that. Usually when I stream, there's some kind of background music, I think. I'm not sure what I'm going to stream next week. I might, um, I don't know, I could play a game, or I might react to, I haven't watched my, um, well, I've watched little clips of when I got raided in 2020, but I kind of want to revisit it and give some context to it. Kind of like killing two birds with one stone, because I could stream something fun and then stream something that could be easily turned to a YouTube video. Then I get both a YouTube video and a good stream. I don't know. But I also enjoyed playing Mario Kart last week, and then I also enjoyed playing Pokemon the week before. Is this thing ready yet? No, we're like we're not even halfway there yet. Heating it up. Man. Oh, I still have stuff to do. What am I doing? Okay. So for her baked potato. I gotta check if the sour cream is expired or not. I told her it wasn't. Oh, okay, thank goodness. It, it expires on May 4th, so I'm gonna smell it, though. We got... Oh, God. We got sour cream. We got... Focus, focus, focus. It's not focusing. It says May 4th. I think sour cream is supposed to smell like that. Well, I guess we're good. Had it for a while, so that's why it kind of freaks me out, but... Apparently it's not expired. It smells like sour cream. So we're going to do that, and I need to cut some green onions. Oh, and she wants cheese. We don't have shredded cheese, but I have a block of... I think I might have a block of cheddar cheese, and I can use my cheese grater. Okay, so where is my green onion? I'll start with green onion here. What we're gonna do is um easy to just use scissors to cut these guys. She'll probably want two. She likes green onions. Or I could use all three. I don't know. Start with two. You can always cut another one later. I need to try to find oh okay. Let's see. Is there already now the question is is there any mold on this cheddar cheese? Best Buy, July 31st, 2023? I think we're okay. I don't see, it doesn't look weird to me. No ugly spots on it, so I guess we're good. Okay. I'm gonna rinse this off real quick. Shit, it's a good thing you guys can't see me doing this. It looks really dirty when I'm cleaning this, the stroking motion I have to do. Okay. My, oh, oil's almost there. Okay. Then we are going to cut these guys up. Nice, clean kitchen shears. Oh, shoot. Almost dropped it. I'm trying not to cut my finger off here. What did I make on my last cooking stream? I think it was fried chicken. I wonder what I'd do for my next one. I made a gumbo earlier. A non-spicy, wimpy gumbo with fried chicken skin on the side. Is it wasteful to not use the rest of this? It's getting kind of tough here. I'll leave that off to the side just in case. Seems like a decent amount. Um, Yeah, this is good to go. And because I don't want to get burnt, I'm going to put on some rubber kitchen gloves and I'm putting this this into the oil. I'm afraid. Did you guys hear that? I got a bug zapper recently. <laughs> it just went off and it startled me. I'm gonna wash these. These are clean, but you know. Okay, it's gonna soak them. Oh yeah, that oil is ready. All right, this is up to temperature. Take this out. Okay, this might get a little crazy. Oh God, I thought that was gonna boil over. 
That would have gone straight on to LSF. Um, let's see. I'm surprised I'm not running into more technical difficulties. I really thought that I'd run into a whole bunch of errors first time doing this. The only downside is, okay, so there's probably, you guys, I don't know if, if anyone's noticed, there's a bit of a delay. I'm actually, so I'm downstairs on my laptop, streaming to my PC upstairs, and um, then it's streaming to Twitch. So there's like a little delay going from my laptop to my computer upstairs, and that's causing, it's adding like an extra like five to seven seconds, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh man, these fries are looking so good. Once, those, once they're out, I'll show it to you guys. Um, I am going to get the cheese grater out. Really, is it really safe? Alright, I'm going to walk away from my fries for like five seconds. BRB. So not only do I have an electric french fry cutter, but I got an electric food processor that has a cheese grater and chip cutter and all that. Whoops, come on, close. Well, I'm going to be, I don't want to exert any effort. So instead of, you know, manually grating the cheese by hand, we're going to be putting it through an electric cheese grater. My fries looking okay? Oh, they're looking really good. Okay. I'll probably take this off now. I'm going to get the components for that. Ugh. KitchenAid food processor is awesome. We got All right, let me show you guys what comes with this. Or is it easier over here? Maybe. Throw this out. All right, let's get this under the camera here. So here we go. We got the cheese grater blender, which I've never used for cheese, actually. I've only ever made hash browns with this. I just put a whole, like, two whole potatoes through it, usually. There's um, a medium side and a thinner side. I assume she's going to want the medium. This thing's pretty cool, too. We got a chip cutter. So I've made potato chips with it. Really awesome. Makes them totally even. And the other stuff is uh, just regular food processor blades. You did the cooking stream. What's up, Wrench? I'm doing it. The cooking stream's happening. There's also a dough. I've never used this one. The dough attachment. I also have a KitchenAid stand mixer. I have too many kitchen toys. Okay, but we're going to start with a cheese grater attachment. I don't eat cheese, but it's for my wife. So I'm going to have to cut a little bit. Cut the cheese here. What's for dinner? We are making steak. It's, a thin, it's just a thin uh, grocery store bought choice ribeye. Oh god, my fries. We got um, baked potato, french fries, and roasted Brussels sprouts. Brussels, Brussels sprouts are already in the oven. Fries are cooking now, and I'm going to reheat them right before dinner. Baked potato, I'm waiting. Oh, and like, as soon as these are done, I can start the baked potato. And then um, my wife wanted baked potato, and I want fries, so. We don't have, we, we don't have grated cheese already, so I'm going to go try and grate some. But I'm probably going to wait until this is done, because I feel like I'll forget about my fries, and I'll accidentally burn them. Yeah, how are you doing, Wrench? What have you been up to lately? These fries are looking good. They need a little bit more time. I put a lot in here. I think there's zero percent chance I finish all these fries later, but you know, it's all right. Pretty good, just chilling at the theater. Nice. Oh, you working tonight? What shows in production? Or would that dox you? I'm always afraid of people getting doxed. Alright. We are going to get my electric cheese grater. Let me see if I can adjust this angle a little bit. I don't know how, how, how well I, I don't know how well I can do this. So we'll start with medium shredding. No, you can't really see it. <laughs> Can I back this thing up? We'll see how it goes. 
Hansel and Gretel dance show. And we're going to grate some cheese. I don't know how much to make, because I don't eat cheese. I'm lactose intolerant, and I don't like most cheese. I think I make an exception for Parmesan and mozzarella and small... Because, you know, I, I can eat pizza, so I'll eat mozzarella cheese. But American cheese is the worst of all cheeses for me. I mean, that's not even really cheese, is it? So, I can't stand that. Cheddar's too strong. Pepper Jack. Swiss I can kind of handle. Zumomoka, what's up? Cooking stream, that's right. How are you doing? All right, I've... Like I said, guys, I've only ever used this cheese grater, electric cheese grater, to make hash browns. I've never done it with actual cheese. So I might screw this up. Let's see what happens. So I don't want to make too much, so I'm just going to slice a little bit. Cheese so good. I wish I could eat cheese. You know what? Um, as a foodie, I feel like there are a few things that are more beautiful, or there are a few things that are as beautiful as melted cheese on top of food. It looks so good. But then I just don't like the flavor. I've tried to convince myself that I like it so many times. It just doesn't work. All right, fries are done. I can finally show you guys how this looks. They're looking a little pale right now because it's just the first fry. And um, right before dinner, I'm going to fry them the second time, get them crispy. But you guys, can, you guys will be able to see how they look in a second here. I put so much in here. Homemade skin on russet potato fries. All right. No, we'll, we'll, wait, we'll, we'll use this one. One right here, is this better? Oh man, no, that's not that good. Alright. Trying to look off here. Yeah, they look a little pale right now. Oh, it's so awkward, my screen's back here so I can't see. I don't even know if it's in focus. <laughs> but trust me, it's good. Trust me, it'll, well, it'll be good when I cook it the second time. Okay, let, let's see the crisp test. Here's one. Not that crispy yet. <laughs> On the second fry, though, we're gonna get super golden brown. You can't eat dairy, but you do it anyway. You know what? I make the exception for ice cream. I don't really like cheese. So usually when I'm too embarrassed to just admit that I don't like the taste of cheese, I'll just, I mean, I'm not lying by saying I'm lactose intolerant, but I'll use that as my reason for why I don't want cheese. It's like, oh, I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> too soft yeah we'll get them crispy on the next go i don't know how much okay like casually swinging this knife around here i don't know how much cheese to make because i've never made shredded cheese from a block of cheese so i don't it's just for one person so i don't know if this is not enough or too much well i'd rather make too much on accident so i'll just make a crap ton all right here we go Ugh. Got a block, a little block of cheese there. Maybe that's not even a lot. I might need to make more. Okay, let's see how this works. Oh, don't tell me the plug's too short. Oh, don't do this to me, KitchenAid. All right, we are going to move this. This is so ghetto. I'm so sorry, guys. Let's see if this actually turns out good. All right, so on my bigger, my main camera, you can see me. Oh God. Okay, we got this block of cheese. Throw this in. Hope for the best here and turn this on. And I think we have grated cheese. There's a little bit of waste. That's that. That's it. No manual grading here. I refuse to put in any manual effort. Pretty cool, huh? Wow. Using the cheese grater for its actual intended purpose was kind of neat. Yeah, I do that once. <laughs> once I got a massive block and you didn't even have it. Yeah, that's the thing. I wish they sold this in smaller amounts. Actually, the reason we got this block in the first place was um, I'm a little picky with my ground beef, so I went to a local butcher. I wanted to make a burger that night. My wife wasn't going to eat a burger that night, but then when she saw the ground beef, she said, okay, you know what? I think I want one. And she always wants cheese, so I said, are you sure? We don't have any cheese. 
and that butcher happened to only be selling blocks of cheese. So when she made her burger that night, we just cut it up and put small bits onto the burger and covered it and tried to melt it that way. All right. There we go. We got grated cheese. I'll put these into bowls. So then, do that glove away. I'll just wash my hands. Yeah, so let's wash my hands here. Get her green onions and her cheese. Hey, okay, guys, what else goes in a baked potato? I got um, got green onions, che grated cheese, sour cream, butter. I don't know. The battlefield historian, what's up? Angelo, how's it going? Not my brother, Angelo, but the other Angelo. How you doing, man? All right, let's get, get this back into its original position here. Oh, this, sorry, is that just kind of like a weird sight? Yeah, I, actually, I'm going to get gloves. I feel like I'm going to get cheese underneath, cheese underneath my nails here if I do this. I'm going to get, I got disposable plastic gloves I like using when I cook. Oh, shoot, are the brussels almost done? Oh, they're looking nice. I think that'll be... I'll just pop them back in the oven later. Okay, so let me just throw this in the sink here. It's all out of the freaking way here. Ugh. I totally lost my train of thought of what I was doing. Dang it. <laughs> when Austin asked Kirito to cook this time, that's right. <laughs> yep. I like Kirito, but unlike him, I actually know how to cook. That's the difference. What was I going to do? I was... Oh, I need to take my Brussels sprouts out. And then I'm going to get gloves so that I can... I can uh, put, transfer the cheese out of here. I think that's good. I'm going to reheat them anyways. I'm just going to turn this timer off. Get my... Get these... Let's try not to burn myself here. Oh, ooh, hot! There we go. Roast oven roasted Brussels sprouts. What do you guys think? Okay, we're gonna put this cheese away. Put this the block that I didn't use up. The rest of the block is gonna go back to the fridge. And then, I'm gonna go grab some gloves real quick. Actually, it's already 4 o'clock, you know what, I should... This is gonna be... This is gonna be the potato my wife eats for her. Come on, focus, it's focusing on my face. If I hide my face, there we go, in focus. So I haven't made a baked potato in a long time, but I believe you stab it with a fork a million times, and then uh, throw it in the oven for a long time. So anyway, how have you been doing since I'm currently packing up for tomorrow's con? Not gonna lie, it looks good. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, I've been doing super well. Um, yeah, I took a year off streaming or so. Well, it feels like a year. Probably wasn't a full year. Probably was a little under, but a little burnt out and was like doing a little bit more YouTube stuff. I've been doing a lot of anime reviews, um, but I've been wanting to work on my IRL vlogs that I've been kind of that have been piling up for like a couple years now. Uh, other than that, I've been doing well. You know, work Monday to Friday, 7 to 3. Then on Fridays at 3, I go live. Fun. Yeah, things have been going great. So, this looks good. I'm going to move this out of the way here. Need pot holders here. Okay, so you guys got to see the Brussels sprouts. I see you're glad you're taking time on working on personal life. Yeah, for sure, man. You have to. I wasn't for a while. I think I was just gr You know, it's easy. Hustle culture is so big right now. And it feels like if you're doing something, if you do something and you can't turn it into something productive or you can't turn it into money, then you feel like you wasted time. And I think that that mindset kind of poisoned me for a while. And so if I was just playing a game, I'm like, man, I should be streaming this. What am I doing? This is content. Um, you know, but that's not good. You don't have to do that all the time. Not everything in your life has to be content. Um, I'm gonna get a glove. Be right back.
Yeah, I cook all the time. I always make high production. Just It's just two people. It's just my wife and I live together in this house, but I always go over the top with cooking. I was like, what the heck? Why am I not, why am I not streaming this? This is content right here. All right. So here we go. We're going to get some of this freshly grated cheddar cheese into this bowl. I think I made way too much, but I guess she'll be the judge of that. I guess we can always freeze the leftover, leftover cheese. There's nothing like getting... I didn't want to get cheese under my nails, so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get, get this glove out. So that's good. And now I'm going to get a bowl for green onions I cut up earlier. I have a little bowl in the dishwasher. Here we go. All right, we got her size. I'm gonna put these in the fridge. Keep them good. OMG, my dog's got a packing peanut <laughs> and was staring at my husband so happy, wagging her tail. I'm like, I'm a good girl. Oh no, the, I was like, packing peanut. My brain short circuited for a second. I haven't seen a, I haven't seen a packing peanut in so long because all the Amazon packages I get are just um, these uh, inflated air. I don't even know what you call them. <laughs> no nail cheese. <laughs> yeah, I don't want that. When I picked one up, I could already feel one almost slipping in there, and I said, you know what? We're not doing that today. All right. Um, she doesn't eat the skin. A lot of time, in a lot of these um, baked potato recipes, I noticed that they will salt, oil and salt the skin, but my wife said she's not going to eat it, eat the skin, so I'm going to wrap this in foil. I'm just going to stab this bad boy so it doesn't... I mean, apparently they say it'll blow up if you don't do this right. Oh, I, I don't know how much you're supposed to stab it, because I don't personally eat baked potatoes all the time, but if they say happy wife, happy life, so I'm going to make her a baked potato. Hopefully I do it right. Oh. Getting in a workout here. Am I overdoing it? Afraid of stabbing my hand. That would be terrible. Oh, I get banned if I accidentally stab my hand and start bleeding. Luckily, it was a dissolvable one. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. You were, I mean, I figured since you were telling me about it and you were laughing, uh, <laughs> it, wasn't, it wouldn't be too bad. It won't cook all the way if you don't do enough. All right. Good to know. I should probably turn... 450 seems high for this. I did 450 for the Brussels sprouts. I'll try 400. All right, down. I want to wrap this in foil and then just put it in there and forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, going in the foil. Hopefully this is good. <laughs> Look at me, I have no idea what I'm doing. I eat french fries all the time. Let me see, you know what, I'm gonna get a little, I could probably throw this in as is, but I'm gonna put it in on a, I have something to hold on to. Get a little, a little cast iron skillet. Ugh. All right, got a little guy. We got one potato, one baked potato going in the oven. About an hour. All right, and I'll put a timer here. Start that out. Hopefully that's, that's probably long. Putting into what? Oh yeah, I wrapped the potato in foil, threw it in the little cast iron skillet. Yep, yep, oven. Throw it in the oven. <laughs> so I didn't specify, huh? Let me see. I mean, what else is there to do? The current cost one that I've been working on is, sorry, I hit the mic. Hopefully that didn't blast your ears, guys. The current cost one that I have been working on is John Marston Red Dead Redemption 2. So that is John last time, but in his Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 1 outfit. No, not the microwave. Never the microwave. That's cool, man. Hey, um, which con are you going to, Angelo? It feels so weird saying Angelo to you because that's my, bro my older brother's name. I feel like I'm talking to my brother, but I'm not. <laughs> Battlefield historian. Yeah, which, which con? I mean, you're, you're from LA, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So these fries. Man, when these get the second fry, I can't wait to show you guys how crispy these get. Have you, I don't know how often, I feel like I don't know anyone else that cooks fries as, as much as I do at home. Yeah, my favorite trick is to boil them, boil them, and then deep fry them after. Mm-hmm. It tastes good. I boiled it in salt water, so it's really delicious. It's a mini cold called 
Fangia. Fangia Con. Oh, you're from San Diego. Oh, okay. So, do you eat California burritos and fish tacos? Because I went to San Diego. I've been to San Diego twice. First time I was a little kid, so I don't remember that. But in 2014, I went and I watched Paul McCartney from the Beatles. And I ate California burritos there. And oh, oh God. Mexican food in San Diego is so good. Not even a fair comparison. I've never had, I mean, I guess the only other place I could find better Mexican food is in Mexico, but man, San Diego's Mexican food. Whew! On another, sorry. Shit. <laughs> On another level. Yes, that and, oh, San Diego's famous Comic Con, of course. You know what? When I would just try to describe cosplaying to people that uh, don't understand cosplaying, I would just, like, if I was going to Anime Expo, I wouldn't say I'm going to AX, because they'd be like, what, what's an AX? I would just say, oh, I'm going to a Comic Con. And they're like, oh, Comic Con, yes, I know what that is. So, good old famous Comic Con. What else can I do? Um, oh, that's right, the steak. All right, so with this steak, like I said, I don't know, which camera's better? Had my face will it focus. I don't know. <laughs> I'm new to this, guys. There we go. This camera. I need like a. I need a third camera, don't I? Do I turn on? I turn on this camera too. No, no, we're not gonna do that. Um. So basically, this right here is a choice. Just a really cheap choice cut ribeye from Safeway. I said earlier. I usually buy the more expensive, thicker, prime cut ribeyes, but since I'm, I usually cook on the cast iron, I'm not used to my new grill yet, I'm gonna, I'm afraid of messing this up, so I salt brined it over, I did a dry brine, if you guys aren't familiar with that, a lot of times what people do with a steak is they'll salt it um, all over and leave it in the fridge uncovered on a wire rack overnight, so I did that 24 hours ago. Um, my wife wanted me to use seasoned salt, but there's already salt in it, so I'm going to have to make my own seasoning rub. If this were a more expensive steak, I would just do salt, pepper, maybe garlic powder, and then just that's it. But since it's a cheaper steak, I think it's okay. I won't be sinning too much if I add a little bit more stuff to it. So let's see. I'm thinking we got onion powder, paprika. Do I have garlic powder in here? That, no, that's just another onion powder. Garlic powder, garlic powder onion powder. Black, oh, I'm gonna use fresh ground black pepper. Looks good, you can bite into it now. Yeah, thank you. Um, chili powder, sure, why not? Some cayenne pepper, add a little bit. I'm just trying to find my garlic powder, that's the main thing I am missing here. Um, come on, I know you're in here. Ah, oh, there it is, garlic powder. All right, I'll just season this guy up. I'm gonna get another glove. I should just bring the box in here. <laughs> I keep running out here to get a glove. <laughs> and I'm back. I didn't want to use the same glove that I used to touch the cheese since I don't like cheese. So, okay, let me wash my hands here. And then we are going to... I wonder if it's too early. I'm not cooking it for another like 30 minutes. Actually, it's already 4.17. I need to turn the grill on. I will be right back. I don't have my... Um, you know what? Let's see if I can get my iPhone working. Or... Aim the webcam. Bring the webcam with me. And just aim it out the door. You know what? Let's try that. Let's try that. All right, guys. We're going to do something scuffed right now. Here we go. Woo! Going on an adventure. Oh, no. It's tangled. Let me just close this lid so you guys don't see how messy the kitchen is. It's kind of embarrassing. All right. This is as far as the cable will let me go. Aim it at my backyard. It won't be much, but you'll be able to see me outside. I can't quite take you outside. Let me see. Can I, can I get this? No, this is as far as it goes. <laughs> GG. Let me see. All right, oh, why? All right, I'm gonna go start the grill up. I think, well, I'm wearing a lav mic so you guys could still hear me. 
Got some huge boots for outside. All right, I'm gonna get this grill cover off. Oh no, it's windy. Oh. Hopefully I didn't lose connection here. Oh, I'm gonna get, oh, I need to season the grill. I got cast iron grill grates. So I got a spray for it. Oh. How was that? How is that view, guys? Can you see anything? <laughs> um, okay. I keep forgetting to use this before turning my grill on. Um, yeah, and I don't want to spray this out of fire, so I'm going to do this before I turn it on real quick. You're just going to get this thing preheated to, like, 550 degrees. All right, I'm going to spray this bad boy down. Feels like I'm using the whole can on this thing. Man, that took so much oil. I hope that, I don't know, hopefully I didn't do that wrong. Ooh. All right, turn the grill on. All right, we're good to go. All right, back to inside only. Here we go. Oh. Mike sounds de scuffed. Mike sounds decent though, even outside. Really? Not bad. This is a $30 mic. $30 lav mic. It came with two. I wanted to get more expensive ones because I, I knew these weren't going to sound that good since these are like 30. Oh, God. So I knew these were only 30 bucks. I know there was no way they'd sound great, but I mean, I wasn't sure how many times I'd do a cooking stream. So far, I'm liking this, so. Maybe I'll actually get a better set of lav mics. Oh, cr I'm knocking so much stuff over. I really should have cleaned up a little more before I did this. Okay. All right, now let's season up the steak. Wash my hands. One outside. Okay, baked potatoes doing okay. So at like 4.40, in like 30 minutes, I'm going to cook the, the steak. Probably only gonna cook it for three to four minutes on each side. Um, basically, so I got a, I got a, um, I got a natural gas grill. I got a natural gas line outside. It's pretty awesome. It's like my dream I've always wanted. Um, growing up, we had charcoal grills and regular propane tank grills, and I learned to hate both. I mean, uh, charcoal grills probably have the best tasting barbecue I've ever had, but they're a pain to do. And for propane tanks, it was really saddening when the tank would empty out while I was mid-cooking, so. And to make matters worse, whenever it was empty, I was always the one who had to go and change it out. My dad would always send me to get it changed, so I really hated them. So I said, you know what? I am going to have, when I get my own house, I'm going to get a gas line put outside. I'm going to get a natural gas grill. Then I'll never have to change a propane tank again. And my dream came true. Uh, when I got this house, there was already a gas line outside. I, I don't know what it was used for. I think two families ago, they had a hot tub outside or something. I don't know if that's what used it or someone had a fire pit. But uh, I had, had my new, I got a new grill and got it hooked up. And I never changed the tank ever again. And I'm so stoked about that. So because, because the steak is so thin, I'm thinking what the game plan is. Is I preheat that oven to like as hot as humanly possible, like 550, 600. And you know, as soon as you open the lid, a whole bunch of heat escapes and the grill grates will start to cool down. So what I'm gonna do is a lot of times with meat, I like to do get like criss crisscross grill marks. So you'll put it on one way and quarter turn it and then flip it and then quarter turn it again. Um, oh wrench, see ya. Have fun at work. I'm thinking what I do is I tr I don't think I have enough time. I don't think I have enough time to get the crisscross grill marks. So what I'm going to do is just um, open the lid, throw it in, close the lid as fast as possible. Wait three to four minutes, and then open the lid, flip it, close the lid, and then just, like, without, let, without giving the grill time to cool down. So that's going to be a challenge, because with thicker steaks, there's a little more room for air, and you can just throw it on there and let it sit there in the fire. So, um, I'm thinking... So for our seasoning, we, there's, this was already salted overnight. 
we're gonna put some fresh ground pepper, paprika, garlic powder, onion, oh, that's onion powder, garlic powder and onion powder, and then just for a tad bit of spice, a little bit of cayenne pepper and a little bit of chili powder. Oh, and I wanted to use some white sugar too, just a tad bit. Because when you buy seasoned salt, they all have a little bit of sugar in it. So I'm going to put like just a super, the tiniest pinch of sugar into it. It might taste really bad. But <laughs> we'll see. At least it's a cheaper steak, so I'm willing to kind of, I've always wanted to experiment more. But then since I didn't buy an expensive steak this time, I don't feel too bad trying things out. Okay. So to get this stuff to stick, I'm probably going to, I'm going to pour a little bit of oil on this guy. Glove on. Or other glove, maybe? Yeah, maybe this handle. Left hand, I'll pat it down. I hand have a little more control. Add a little tiny bit of oil. That is not a tiny bit, but that'll do. Flip it over. A little bit of oil on this side, too. Oh! This glove's a little loose. I need to get better gloves once I run out of these. Alright, we're gonna start it with some onion powder. And some garlic powder. Hopefully this doesn't taste all burnt up on the grill. What happens? I'm gonna get some paprika. Tiniest bit of chili powder. You know, I kind of want to pour this into a bowl. But I, I, I'm kind of a wimp. I can't really handle spicy food too much. So I'm going to pour it into here. And then kind of sprinkle it on. I can kind of control how much I put on. I like a super <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny amount. And the same for the, same for the cayenne pepper. Oh, geez, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah, I would have I really messed myself up there. Add bit. We're gonna rub that in. That's what she said. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Wash my hand again. I should have <laughs> should have picked it up with a gloved hand, huh? Oh, this Brussels sprout. Hmm. Good. Oh shoot. Fresh black pepper. That's what we're missing. Okay. Get some fresh cracked black pepper on this as well. Um. Is that gonna stick? I feel like there's no chance this stuff, this black pepper stays on it. Maybe if I put some more oil on it, it'll bind to it. Yeah, just like push it in. This is just in the way here. I feel like I need more pepper. That's not a lot of pepper. That's more. Black pepper. Black pepper's so good. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but it feels like I'm missing like 90% of the freaking black pepper just bouncing off and just bouncing off the steak here. Okay. Pour a little more oil on it. I also don't want this to stick to the grill. It probably won't. The ribeye's pretty fatty. I feel like I'm glad I'm not doing this as a TikTok because then Gordon Ramsay might react to it and then totally roast me. All right. Now we are going to, you know, maybe I'll put the black pepper on this side first. Like I said, there's already salt. So we're just adding additional seasoning. I need a new... You guys, you know what? There's electric pepper and salt grinders, and I kind of want to get an electric pepper grinder. But this thing works, so I just don't, I just can't, I can't get myself to pay money for a new black pepper shaker when mine already works. Ugh, come on. Well, as I say that, it's getting kind of clogged. Maybe it is time for a new one. I didn't put the sugar on also. I suck. Okay, um, start with that, then we'll go, we got some garlic powder, a little layer of that, some onion powder, 
get a little bit of paprika. And then a little tad bit of chip. You know what? Screw it. I'm feeling brave. I may regret this. A little bit of chili powder. A little kick to it. Then a little bit of cayenne. Oh love God, please don't too much. Okay. And we're gonna get a spoon here. A tad bit of sugar. That is more than I <laughs> a little more than I wanted to put on, but it's okay. Pour a little oil on this side. Try to spread spread the seasoning around. It kind of all got thrown into one spot here. This may this will either taste really amazing or taste really weird. Got a little bold here with the spice choice. I want to put a little sugar on the other side, please. A bit. Okay, this side this time I'll be a little more careful. Oh god, that's a huge spot. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that is enough. It's gonna be some random sweet spots in the steak, probably. Oh well. Let's get some seasoning on the edges too. I'm not going to sear the edges. Um, the steak's too thin. It'll probably overcook if I... And I might burn myself. But we'll stick with that. Let that get up to room temperature. And uh, we're good to go with the steak. Alright. So then... I'm trying to figure out the order here. I think that... When do I pop? Okay, so I'll pop the Brussels sprouts in right, like maybe five, ten minutes before. What's up, baby smell? I do. I cook almost every day. I love to cook. Yeah, so um, I'm thinking Brussels sprouts at 450. I'll throw them back in. In 10 minutes, I'm going to probably at 450. In 20 minutes, I'll start the steak. French fries, I'll do right when the steak is out. I'll start, I'll put the french fries back into the oil to get them fully crisped up. But other than that, I'm basically done. I guess I just start cleaning up. So I'll put these away here, all my extra spices. Um, extra salt here. The worst part of cooking is cleaning up. Okay. Is all I'm gonna dump this out. I've never I haven't done a cooking stream in so long, but this is pretty fun. A little different. Feels like I'm out of my element, even though I cook all the time. Since I'm not just upstairs sitting on the chair, it feels weird. Let me see. Wash my hands here. That steak is looking pretty decent. <clears throat> oh, I'm all tired now. Is the mic quality okay? I have another mic charging here in case in case this one's dying. Ah, yeah, guys, I'm very sorry about the uh, little extra delay than usual. Okay, put this grill spray away. No, I'm leaving that out. Um, oh god, it's all fit earlier. I think I heard it peak several times. Dang. That's what I get for buying this really cheap mic. And there's been a few instances of, instances of buffering. Dang it. Landret still sucks unfortunate being a streamer and having really crap internet let me see i'm gonna do a speed test right now what is my um my upload speed when i'm not streaming when i was checking the other day my upload speed was anywhere between 38 and 40 but one time on stream when i checked it i think it was at five or something something really bad so let's see what's it at now we'll let that run let that run for a second 
Man, the lighting's really bad. It makes the steak look like it's really, really red. <laughs> it's alright, though. I promise you it's not. Oh, it's probably because I'm, I'm blocking the light. Wait, if I move away... No, it's... Oh, it is. It's because I was moving... It's because I moved... And if I stand here and block it, it puts a shadow on it. Oh, I see, I see. Alright. You know what? 450. Put the Brussels... Burn them. Hmm. Hmm. Now that I did the speed test, it's buffering. My upload speed's 35. I have um, really high ping, though. Ping was like 87. So it's usually not that high for me. It sucks. Yeah, my old place, um, old place was super tiny compared to here, but at least the internet was really good. Yeah, like I've been saying, whenever I move out of this house, maybe in five years or so, this will I'll be able to have enough equity in this house to sell it, to uh, use it as a fat down payment on a nicer house. I want to get a house in a newer area that has fiber internet because it's ridiculous. I like the stream, but over here, the internet sucks. You had to reload? Dang. That sucks. So annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna check on my grill. I guess I could just point this camera over there now, because I'm probably just gonna be just gonna move my secondary camera, turn it off temporarily, and then let's see when I go outside to grill for like a minute, you guys will get to see what I'm doing. Let me see temperature at. Geez, it's already almost up to temperature. I don't need it to be there for another. Is it now? 4.30? Yeah, it's still too too soon. I'm going to turn this fire down a little bit. Oh, God! <laughs> oh! Oh! Close the door on my freaking foot. Oh! <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Owie. I'm trying to cut down on my cussing, so when I, when I hit my foot, my first natural instinct was to yell profanity. I was like, you know what, maybe, maybe I can hold it in this time. Alright, you know what I should do? I keep look, staring at the clock. I'm just going to set a timer. Set an alarm to go off so when it's time to cook the steak, I can just start cooking it. How about at, um... Whoops. At 4... 4.45. I'm going to blast the... Blast the grill again. I slightly turn the heat down. I guess I don't need this... Turn this back on when I'm there. Oh no, never mind. That's a mess. I'm gonna leave that on. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Yeah, and then I mean, there's nothing for me to do here for a good miss. We are back. I'm gonna run up to the room. E R B. Seriously? Oh, I'd probably have to turn my camera on. That would probably help, wouldn't it? Oh, there we go. This will chill here for a little bit until... ...at clear. Oh, well, it's okay. We'll just chill here for a little bit until... ...until it goes off. Sitting around there. Ah, oh, I got the a I had the AC on in this nice and cool up here. Where I'm, it's 95 degrees, so it's a little warm down there. Stat is it really, is it, am I setting a bad example doing this? I have food in the oven, and I have the grill on, and I'm upstairs in a room. The <laughs> closed door. Oh, well. Huh. Hopefully the, uh, what was the qual hopefully the quality isn't as bad up here. 
I've, I was really wanting to test this out. I almost, I more, I almost more just came upstairs because I wanted to see if it was smooth transitioning, um, transitioning from downstairs in the kitchen to upstairs on the PC. And since this is the PC that's streaming, it's probably not going to lag as much up here, or at least the delay won't be as bad. Man, I've been looking forward to steak night for so long. Hope you don't start a fire. Me too. Me too. Hashtag me too. Yeah, we should be good though. It's just a potato. I have a potato in the uh the stove's off. It's just a potato in the uh a baked potato in the oven. And then the barbecue grill outside, I have it turned down pretty low. So it's not likely something happens. But that'd be really ironic if something did happen. So how much better does this microphone up here sound versus the cheap lav mic I was using downstairs? Is it like 90% better? Is it like a huge difference? Is it pretty cl Is it even comparable? Is it close? Sounds fine. So downstairs, it's more like it just peaks once in a while. That's probably the main issue with this thing is that... I Well, the problem is... Um, Actually, out of the box, this um, lav mic, when I was using it, it sounded it sound super muffled. It sounded like I was talking like this. So I had to EQ it a bunch and then throw a bunch of effects on it just to make it sound listenable. But yeah, this mic up here, I didn't have to do anything. This thing just sounds decent enough out of the box. It's the, the streamer starter pack mic. Man... Got five minutes where I can chill up here in this nice cold room. Then I'm going to head back down. Enjoy this while it lasts. Yeah, but I hope you guys are enjoying the cooking stream. Something a little different from the usual thing. I haven't done one of these since... When was my last cooking stream? I know I did one on one of my birthdays, but I don't remember the exact day. Let me see. I'm going to go on YouTube. Um... I go to main. Oh, there we go. There's my browser. Um, it's better, yeah. Um, it's Andrew XP birthday. When the heck was? <laughs> I'm so irrelevant. It's trying to autocorrect its Andrew XP to something else. <laughs> wow, since 2020, 2020 was when I last did my stream. That's crazy. Well, look how bad this quality is. It's in 360p? Wow. I should, I should probably know more. You know? I just look like a baby. So all you guys, all the Asians know. What am I talking about? Asians never raisin. I think that's how the quote goes. My jokes are still exactly the same. <laughs> I still say that all the time. Wow, that hair. Look at that COVID haircut. I mean, my wife did her best, but yeah, that was... That was questionable there. Wait, let me. All right, that's every piece of chicken. I think I, yeah, I was making fried chicken. I'm wash the salmonella off my hands, and then I'm gonna take this out. Wow. I think I think it. I think my stream today looks a little bit better than this, like a tiny bit. I'm gonna put. Well, I'm so bummed out that this is only in 360. Wish I had this in 1080. Oh, that's the same colander. We just threw these bowls out. Dangerous. All right. Is there a finished product at the end? You know, I love to cook, but I'm like, I'm not that good. That's the problem. I, uh... yeah. yeah, I think I'm a little better. Uh... Okay. I'm just going to head back down now. My alarm's about to go off. I will be right back. Let me... Switch back to my computer downstairs here.
All right, I just need to clip this mic back on. Let me see. All right, we're back down here. Start. Let me. I'll mute while I do this. Hold. On. All right. Uh, hopefully that sounds okay now. I'm going to spare you guys a little bit. Uh, this is still a little... Maybe I still came down a little too soon, actually. I don't want to put the steak on for another, like, five minutes. No, no, it's probably okay. It's probably good. Back in 480p. <laughs> is the quality really bad down here? <laughs> Let me see, what's my grill temperature at? Is it blasting right now? Oh god, it's getting colder. I gotta turn this up. I'm gonna try to not smash my toe this time. Okay, we're blasting the grill. Turning it up all the way. Nice oiled up grill grates. The grill is at about 400 right now, and I'm aiming to get this to 550. <laughs> no, it's not. I was like, oh man, it looks like crap down here. Nah, probably the audio. If anything, the audio is probably worse down here. Oh, yep, 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 I know. 445. Okay. That should be enough time. For another, in another five minutes or so, the grill should hopefully get up to temperature here. What I should do also is get, get my french fry oil up to temperature. So I'm gonna take, move this lid somewhere out of the way. Get this back in here. Get the stove going. Okay. Yeah, that oil cooled down quite a bit. The audio is peaking. Dang. Is it when I'm talking or is it when I'm doing other things? Yeah, okay, I'm going to get rid of the gain and maybe I just have to talk louder. Um, is this super soft now? I turned the gain off, so hopefully it at least doesn't peak. Probably gonna be a little more quiet than my other stuff, my my other mic upstairs. Okay, we got we got French fries, homemade fries. Oh, it's when I'm talking. Okay, is it better now? Any better? Here we go. Right after the steak's done, I'm gonna pop these back in the oil, and these should get perfectly golden brown. Looking a little pale right now. I guess I'll just leave them in the fridge for now. Wait for that steak to finish up. Okay, oil. Oh man, that oil really cooled down on my fries, French fry oil. Mm. Oh, I need to get my grilling, my grilling stuff. I'm gonna need a pair of tongs, and then I'm also gonna need. Spatula. Yeah, I'm only. I'm probably only gonna go like, like I said, three minutes on each side. Hopefully, it doesn't look like crap. The very end of the stream is basically gonna be me cutting the steak in half and seeing if I cooked it okay enough. I want it to be medium rare. Um, we'll see. I think I'm gonna overdo it. I just wonder what's worse: a steak that's cooked medium rare on the inside but has no sear. Or a steak that's nice has nice sear marks on both sides, but is like well done. I don't know. Do you follow people who do cooking? Um, only one streamer. I guess. Well, yeah, he, I only one streamer that does it regularly. I mean, I think a lot of streamers I've watched have, you know, maybe once or twice done a cooking stream. But oh, it's still peaking, but now you just can't hear me. Okay, so let me. I'll put it back. Dang. I need to just get. I need to just invest in a better. I just need to invest in a better. Um, I just need to invest in a better. What's it called? Better mic for down here. I mean, the lav mic's probably the way to go since I'm walking around so much. A boom mic might not be it, but this is only thirty bucks, or it might have been even less. It doesn't have to be on Twitch. I mean, I watch. Um, Oh, you're talking about like actual, like even like famous chefs. You're not saying do I follow streamers that cook? Do I fam do I follow anybody that cooks? Yeah, um, not lately, but I watch a lot of Gordon. I used to watch Gordon Ramsay all the time. He's my favorite cook. I've eaten at all of his restaurants in Las Vegas, so he's kind of my go-to guy. 
But on YouTube, yeah, I watch food stuff all the time, and it's always at like 11 p.m. when I'm laying in bed trying to go to sleep, which is the worst time to watch that stuff. Who are some of my favorites? Um, I like Kwang Tran. He does a lot of a lot of TikToks, I think. Although I watch him on inst on Instagram on YouTube Shorts, and the dude's super energetic. This Asian guy, Asian Canadian guy, he's really good. I got my fried chicken recipe from him. Have you heard of Towns Mead or Towns Mead? Town sends. No, I haven't. Is that a like a cooking creator or is that a show? Or or what is that? Alright, I gotta get is if my grill is up to temperature, I'm throwing it on now. Oh, it's still only at four hundred. Ugh, I should have just left it should have just left it on. I think I jumped the gun a little bit there when I turned it down earlier. Yeah, I'm this is actually taking forever to heat up. I can't forget about this. When I'm going out to grill the steak, I have to remember that this is on so I don't start a freaking fire. Town sends. Yeah, I never heard of that. Man, I usually cook really unhealthy stuff. Well, earlier I had a had a gumbo. I had gumbo. It was really delicious. He does cooking recipes from the 18th century as well as stuff from other... Oh, that's pretty cool. I'd actually be interested in watching that. I mostly cook like comfort food. I like uh, anything that's fried, basically. Um, but I'll do it all. I mean, I've made brownies, cookies from scratch. I'll be baking. Um, yeah, lately I've been getting into grilling just because I got a new grill. But a lot of times people say, what are your specialties? And I'll say, like... Fried chicken, fish and chips, <laughs> homemade fries, fried zucchini, fried everything. But I'd like to learn how to do more stuff because I'm going to die in like five years if I keep up this diet I have now. I'd be interested. I'll check out Town Sounds. I'll remember that. Could you send it to me in Discord too in case I forget? I have a feeling I'll be, I have a feeling I'll remember that you told me, like tonight I'll be like, I remember he, I was supposed to check out a guy that puts 18th century stuff, but I'll forget the name. Yeah, I've actually been trying to clean up. Basically, my diet that I've been trying to go on is during lunchtime I'll eat whatever, but within a reasonable portion. But it could be unhealthy, like a burger or something. But dinner time I'll try to keep it. Um, I'll try to keep it a little healthier. Like a uh, Monday through four days a week, I'll well, my wife and I'll meal meal prep mo dinners for Monday to Thursday. And then we'll eat healthy. We ate for two of the days. We had. Grilled chicken, brown rice, and broccoli, and the other two days we had grilled salmon, brown rice, and broccoli, and it was, for her, she was actually fine eating that. For me, that was absolute misery. Well, at least it'll be delicious for my, be a delicious five years. That's true. That's true. I'll die happy. But I'm very satisfied and in delicious food. I'm going to turn this down. Let's see. Is that grill up to temperature yet? Almost. Jeez, is my foot bleeding? Hold on a second. I don't want to. I don't want to show my foot on. Oh no, it's not. Okay. Thought my foot was bleeding, but I guess I probably maybe I just stepped in a wet spot on the floor or something. I felt the liquid. I was like, oh god, I don't think I smashed my toe that hard in the door. Jeez. Okay. God, that is still ringing. That hurts. Okay, we're getting closer to getting that, um, getting closer to getting the steak ready. Still 20 minutes left on this. Is it really going to take that long for a baked potato? I want to blast this, get this up to temperature, and then just turn it down also. Zero X, what's up, man? How's it going? Man, this computer is so, I'm streaming on, is so laggy. Um... Yeah, I'm obviously my gaming PC is upstairs in my my room, but down here, I brought my what is it? I have a laptop from 2019. It's amazing, it's amazing how quickly laptops just start to slow down. It feels like I just got this thing. It's from 2019, which is four years ago now, and like this is date and this is over two thousand dollars, and it's already super laggy. I linked you a video for a fried chicken recipe. Thank you. I'd be down to try it. I have a lot of fried chicken recipes that I like to do. Of course, there's like a chicken katsu one that has flour, egg, and panko. There's beer battered, beer battered, um, what's it called? 
two battered chicken. There's buttermilk. Um, karage, the, like a Japanese style with potato starch as the batter. For me, that's the thing that um, makes a difference. Oh, and Korean fried chicken, which uses a different batter too. For me, I love trying out different marinades for chicken and different battering recipes. I, I don't, my least favorite fried chicken recipes, I guess, would be the vegan ones. But second, we're if we're counting out vegan recipes, I think the worst fried chicken recipes are ones that only use flour for the batter. With buttermilk, I think you can get away with using flour batter. For the most part, you have to put in a little bit of cornstarch or potato starch or some kind of starch to make it crispier. Okay, this thing is finally up to temperature. So I'm going to turn that down. But yeah, I'll be sure to check that video out. I would check it out on stream here, but this maybe I could do it upstairs. But down here, this computer is not going to be able to handle it. Okay, we're almost, it's a, like, man, it's not quite at 500. No, I gotta wait a little longer. Yeah, I screwed up. I shouldn't have turned it down earlier. Whoa, did the screen go black for a second? I, I hit the cable. Is it loose? My bad. He does cook, it, he does cook on, on Dutch ovens, by the way, and other stuff, but I'm sure you can replicate with modern ones. Oh, that's cool. I have a lot of cast iron, so I assume... Because uh, I have both an enamel Dutch oven and, yeah, I have this seasoned cast iron Dutch oven right over there. It's probably hard to tell because it's kind of blending in with my, with my stove here. But I love, love Dutch ovens. I mean, by, is it, is it cast iron? It's probably not cast iron, is it? Maybe it is. I don't know what 18th century cookware was. Okay, yeah, that's getting too hot. Not down. Oh man, I messed up the timing. I wanted everything to be done at five o'clock. Oh, because my wife's off at five and I wanted her to be able to eat as soon as, as soon as she was off. Five hundred degrees, not. Maybe five hundred will be fine. No, I don't know. I'm afraid now. I'll give it another like three minutes. In three minutes, it's 500 degrees right now. 500 is probably fine, but as soon as I open, open the lid, it'll probably drop like a good 50 degrees. Oh, it uses cauldrons and clay ovens too? That's amazing. Okay, so that, that makes more sense. Clay ovens sound a little more 18th century. Cauldrons and clay ovens. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm curious to what kind of foods that they make. I mean, it's not like we're eating totally different Stuff. I mean, I'm just curious to how it's repaired. It's not like they, you know, we're, they're still eating chicken and beef, probably, and vegetables and potatoes and things. So, kind of curious to how they prepare it. Okay, got to stall for another three minutes or so. Then that's going in. And then, I think right before I put the steaks in, I'll probably throw these brussels back in as well. Just to heat them up. Yeah, they're, they're already cold again. Or I wonder if I should just broil these. Maybe I'll, bro maybe I'll broil them right before I eat them just to kind of crisp up the top. Hmm. No. Some of these are already kind of on the browner side. Hmm. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to hit the mic there. That Brussels sprout got stuck in my throat for a second there. Okay. I'm gonna go check on the temperature again. I think it should be good enough now. Still at 500. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna yolo it. I hate to say that, but we're just gonna do it. It's going on. All right. Sorry, I don't have an outdoor cam, but this shouldn't be long. I mean, I'm gonna step back inside as soon as I drop this in the grill. All righty. Three minutes on the grill, and that's all it gets. Ooh. All right, it's on. And if this steak tastes terrible, I'm going to take my wife to a restaurant tonight for dinner. <laughs> so hopefully this thing doesn't suck. Cut vegetables on this. All right. Wouldn't be too bad if I use this again. Okay. 
three minutes. Hopefully that's not too long. I'll try two and a half. Three minutes just seems like a long time for how thin that steak is. Then at two and a half, I'm just going to flip it. We'll be done. Uh, I'm going to slip this guy back. These Brussels sprouts back in the oven. This on the bottom shelf. Ooh. All right. Brussels are in at 400 degrees. Five minutes shouldn't kill it, shouldn't overdo it. Man, I'm so nervous about the food not being good. We'll see though. Um, no, we're good, we're good. Yeah, just staring at the clock here. I don't overdo it. Man, what else can I do? This is still at a decent temperature. Everything's looking fine. Plus, I can't cut into the steak right away as soon as it's done and uh, let it rest for a good 10 minutes. Man, doing just chatting streams is so much harder because then. Or maybe it's just because I'm out of my element here. I'm like running out of things to say. When I'm sitting at the desk, it's a little easier for me to rant on about random stuff. Uh -oh. You know who I've been watching a lot is just OTK, OTK um, streamer group. Those guys were kind of like inspiring for me to start streaming again. I really enjoy the content. I like offline TV and stuff, but they're a little too safe for my taste now. You could also just be a React Andy. Being a React Andy is really fun. I, I need to get a better computer for down here because I, I, as soon as I alt tab out of OBS on this thing, it starts lagging. I'm afraid the stream's going to die. So if I could get a better computer down here while I'm waiting for stuff to cook, I could react to stuff. Or I could just be React Andy upstairs. I kind of wouldn't mind doing that. Hasn't there been controversies recently with OTK? Yes, there has. Two. Two controversies. Um, and I will tell you as soon as I flip this steak. Because, yeah, it's really interesting. All right, we're going out. I'm going to go flip the steak. There have been controversies. Whoa, it's on fire. It's pretty darn charred. Oh god. A little windy out. Oh god. It looks good. It might be a little overdone. Hopefully it's not. Probably that patch where the sugar hit it. Okay, so let's give it probably, probably just two minutes. It's it's looking really it's really hot. The grill's really hot. A while back it was with Rich and now it's with Mizkip. Yeah, yeah. So pretty much, I think it was the other way around. I think, um, so Mizkip, um, he was the cameraman for Ice Poseidon and then he blew up into a big streamer. Um, or was it, no, was it Rich first? No, it was Rich. It was Rich first. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Rich Campbell. I was a fan of Rich Campbell because World of Warcraft, he used to do PvP cast, uh, casting for the PvP tournaments. And then he joined up with, like, with Asmongold and um, Ms. Kith and Ezfand and all of them. They started OTK. So Rich was accused of... Can I even say this on stream? He invited a girl over and... Uh, he did things to her that she did not consent to. It was, uh... <laughs> yeah, his act his is pretty bad. Yeah. R to the A to the P to the E. Because, um, I guess they used to be friends with benefits. And then they weren't. And then when she was in town, he invited her over. And, she, and at first she said she didn't want to go over. But then she revealed the text and it looks like she reluctantly eventually went over. Or I guess she wanted to hang out with him, but she didn't want to hook up. And she knew that he wanted to hook up. So she kept clearly saying, no, well, I, I want to hang out, but as long as we don't do anything naughty. Um, but I think things led to being naughty anyways, and yeah. I don't know the... The thing is, 
It's so hard to remain neutral. Oh, it's time to take it off. Hard to remain neutral because in the text messages, there's like, it didn't fully line up with her story, but you know, I don't want to discredit her story at the same time. I'm just going to take the steak off real quick, guys. Oh, tongs. Oh. Come on. <laughs> when I pulled the steak off, I wish I had a camera outside. The fat was act when I picked it up with the tongs, it was still on fire. And I was trying to I had to blow the fire out. I don't think the camera caught that though. Okay, let's get get this back let's get the camera back over here. From what I saw, she's accusing him of this after the fact, even though she consented. That's where the debate is, because there's, that part of the story is kind of missing, where um, she's telling us she made it sound like she didn't want to hang out, but then in the text messages, it looked like she kind of agreed to hang out. And it looked like she wanted to go over, but then, like in the story, suddenly, like she missed the part of the story where that led up to, you know, the dirty part. So I don't, I don't know what happened at that point. So I can't, I can't make a judgment. Ms. Kips, what? Mizkif, I think, at least with Mizkif, I can confidently say he should not have been um, treated the way he was. Because, first of all, his friend was accused of, of assaulting a woman. And he was accused of cover. Mizkif was accused of covering up for his friend. Um, so he didn't actually do anything. And they proved that there was, he didn't. And his ex-girlfriend was accused. Maya Higa was, was accused of also kind of trying to cover it up. So when Ms. Kip, you know, he got investigated, they found nothing, so he got brought back in. <laughs> Freaking Ms. Kip. Um, not the smartest idea. He's, <laughs> his first stream back, he's watching videos about, yeah, what not, you know, how not to harass people in the workplace. And <laughs> getting a, uh, he's getting a tattoo. And what was it? The, the tattoo artist was saying, I'm an expert at covering things up. And then Ms. Kip said, me too. And I'm like, oh. So then he got in trouble for that, obviously. Hey, fry's going in. Second fry. Here we go. Get these golden brown. Ms. Kip's really edgy. And also, the main reason why Ms. Kip got in trouble is um, he, was, he, wanted, he and like Pokimane and Hassan wanted to get gambling or certain types of predatory gambling banned off Twitch. But obviously, other streamers like Trainwrex, who make a living off gambling on Twitch, fought against it. So he brought up, he brought up, you know, bad things against him. And then Ice Poseidon, the guy, his old boss, kind of pulled up old DMs showing Mizkif using um, the N word. People think that it was a little convenient that Ice Poseidon only showed Mizkif's messages, but not his own. So people were saying, well. I wonder if Ice Poseidon was saying it too, but he didn't. He conveniently didn't show that in the DMs. So I think Mizkif being a little edgy and just being really popular, he got um, he got under fire. I felt like that was a little unfair. With Rich, I don't know. I feel like there's not enough info for Rich. I think he got. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. Rich, it's harder for me to have an opinion on that because I feel like I want more info. You know. There's. Like, I don't believe in believe all women or believe all men, you know, like, I, I don't think, I, I'd rather have more information and then make my judgment that way. You know. But OTK is bouncing back, so I'm happy about that. And nothing's burning, right? I'm gonna take the Brussels out. Is this okay? Your fries need a little longer. I have enough to take out the Brussels. All this time I thought Brussels sprouts it was Brussels sprouts, but it's Brussels sprouts apparently, according to Google. So I've been saying it wrong all these years, apparently. Okay, Brussels are out. And potatoes probably done. Oh crap. 
This is really freaking hot. Let's get this over here. Sorry. Smell-O-Vision hasn't been invented. I know. I know. I wish you guys could smell it. It all smells really good. But Wrench, I'm glad you're back because now I can finally show you the, the final product of the french fries once we finish. I bit into it earlier and it was all pale and sad. But the second fry is almost done. And you get to see how I truly intended these things to be enjoyed. Okay. Close. We're close. The steak is here. I don't know if it's overdone or not. Oh, it's look at all those juices. Hopefully it's not, uh... I could tell you if, if it was burning. Yeah, that's true, that's true. That one would be a giveaway. It's like, I, I bet you it tastes bitter. I bet you it tastes burnt, right? Okay, come on. Let's see if this is enough. Take these guys out. Yes. Where's the salt? I put the salt away. Why would I do that? I still need salt. You know what? I use kosher salt on the steak, but I want to use a fine sea salt on the fries so they stick better. I like McDonald's salt, you know, that fine salt. So we're using a finer salt for the fries. Alright, here we go. French fries. <laughs> Pro, I wish. That's really hot. Mm hmm There we go. It's not super, super, super crispy. Oh, God. But they aren't soft anymore. Okay. All done. Now I'm going to cut the steak in half, and we're going to see if I overdid it or not. First, I'm going to salt these fries. We're almost done. It's almost time. Better. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's like, not even fully in frame here. Can you hear the sizzle? All right. Is this piece crispy? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Oh, it's really good. Mm hmm Delicious. All right. The moment of truth now. Let's see if I screwed this up or not. I tried to cook this medium rare. I only cooked it like two and a half, two minutes on each side. Which side's prettier? Maybe this side. All right. I'm going to cut it in half. It's a thin steak, so... Give me a little bit of a break if it's overdone. Oh, it's overdone. It's medium. Actually, it's medium well. No, my worst nightmare. Hopefully, it still tastes good, though. Man, I barely cooked it, but... Overcooked. We'll see if it's any good, though. Let's see. It might taste okay. okay yes, yes, I know. Timer. I just turn the oven off. See if it tastes good. All about medium rare, so let's just go the slightest bit overdone. I cry. Yeah, that is overdone. Gordon Ramsay's coming. Yeah, Gordon Ramsay's gonna kill me. I'm gonna go Andrew. Hope the food turns out good. Thanks, baby. Smell. Thanks for hanging out. Catch you later, man. Cooked it perfect. Thank you. Thank you. For me, I like it pink. Yeah, Gordon Ramsay would kill me. This is a medium well. You see a little bit of. Let me see. Can I get this on the camera without dropping it on the nicer camera? Let me see. Get rid of my face. Wait, I can't see. Uh, uh, this way. Yeah, it's like overdone for my taste, but let's see how it tastes. Okay. <laughs> the fries are good. Hmm. Hmm. Actually needs a little bit more salt. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. Alright. 
No, I'm gonna finish cutting it and then I'll put I'll see I need it needs a little more salt. So I get this into nice little bite-sized slices here. Yeah. Next time I'll buy a thicker steak and I think I'll be able to because I like the sear on it. it. That part is good. But it needs uh yeah, I just need a thicker steak so I can actually kind of leave it on there to get this grill marks without it getting too overcooked like this. That's a little bit of a shame, but it's okay. My very first steak video, very first cooking stream is me overdoing a steak on accident. <laughs> it's alright though. I was trying to plate this. Can I make a can I plate something nicely? Oh, I don't have a big plate in there. Let's see, let's see. I would get kicked off the show right now if this were a competitive cooking show. Alright, which side would my wife want? I'll plate mine. She probably would want... This one has too much fat. I'll take this one. She probably won't want this. Whoops. Oh no. Getting grease on the plate. I should have done it the other way around. Wait, wait, wait. This? How do, how do people do this? Do they, how do they line it up nicely? I wish I had compound butter. I finished all mine up. Okay, we're just gonna split a steak. We don't want to eat too much. All right. <laughs> it looks like nothing. Looks like a snack. All right, wait. Let me get some parsley. That'll make it look a little nicer, won't it? Yeah, I have some some dried parsley back here. Let me see. I fancy this up a little bit. I know that I know it's in here. It's probably. Oh, knowing my luck, it's probably on the way back. There it is. All right. Trying to make something look a little fancier. I should have checked the expiration date, but it's this is parts. Okay, <laughs> this isn't like oregano or something, right? Wow, look at that! It looks a little nicer now. Yeah, I'm gonna be the idiot sandwich here. We got that. We're gonna get a little bit of fries on here. This is way too many fries. And then we're gonna get some Brussels sprouts on here too. Uh, do I put? I'll put parsley on the fries too, just to make it look a little fancier. Okay, we got a little bit of Brussels. <laughs> yeah, I would get fired from a restaurant. There's no way. This this is not pretty plating. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's like a five-star dining experience right here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can you see it here? Does it look better here? Maybe. I'll put a little bit of pars a little parsley on the fries. Make it look a little more presentable here. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> well, guys, thank you for coming to my very scuffed cooking stream. I had a lot of fun. Let me go back upstairs real quick. Be right back. Okay, there we go. Unmuted. Back upstairs. I just... <laughs> I'm gonna... I, I, I'm definitely... I would definitely get Idiot Sandwich. But I, I think Gordon Ramsay... To be fair, I feel like Gordon Ramsay would be a little easy on me, because that steak was really thin. Well, he probably would have gotten mad at me for leaving it on for two and a half minutes, knowing that the steak is, like, under an inch thick. It probably should have only gone on for, like, a minute on each side. The grill marks wouldn't have been as nice, but... You know... It would have been a little better. But guys, just, um... If you guys enjoyed that, I'll do more streams like that. Just let me know. Let me know on Discord, social media, wherever. I had fun with it. A little awkward for me, because it's something a little different. But, you know. I may do some more of those in the future if you guys enjoyed it. But, regardless... I just want to say... Oh, whoops the wrong scene here there we go i want to say thanks for sticking around and watching my really scuffed cooking stream um, my wife didn't want to go on camera or else i probably would have recorded us eating it <laughs> but i don't want to throw her on the spot she just got off work and all that and i'll be streaming again next week i don't know what i'm gonna do yet i might play a game 
might react to my wubby stream. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.